perhaps just a little bit of sarcasm there, Ali, from John Ledger. What will this really mean for carriers like T-Mobile? I think John hit it on the head actually. It's going to be really bad news for US carriers because it's going to make it a lot easier to switch between, switch between carriers. And, and actually Verizon and AT&T have been fighting this for a couple of years and, and about a year ago Apple actually wrote some letters to US regulators complaining about Verizon and AT&T digging their heels in over this. So, so really the US carriers really, really hate this and it's bad news for them. Uh, right, which is why uh, there was a suspicion this was coming, but perhaps not this soon. You know, Apple says it's got um, partnerships worked out with carriers all around the world. What does this mean if you're not living in the United States? So in the U.S., uh, th there looks to be some um, specific limitations on it. If you're in China, actually the eSIM technology is, is not going to be there at all. Uh, so Apple has actually had to tweak their um, the iPhone XS for China and it's going to have a SIM slot with spaces for two physical cards and, and that's, in, that's important because there's going to be, there's going to be a, lot, a lot fewer benefits from that. Um, Apple hasn't really said why, why that is the case. However, um, last year the Apple Watch came out um, with eSIM technology in China and um, the, the national carrier Unicom that was providing that support abruptly switched it off after about three days in China. Does this mean, Alistair, that if you're a T-Mobile user or a Verizon user, you might not say so, you might instead say, I'm an iPhone user, I'm a Samsung user? Yeah, certainly uh, the, the, some of the big strategy successes that, that big US technology companies have had over the years is, is basically taking away everyone else's brand and overlaying their brand on, on top. So, so um, yeah, uh, US wireless service could be pretty, pretty commoditized by this type of technology um, and obviously the iPhone brand is, is, is a very big deal. Um, s smaller carriers like T-Mobile probably like it because they're, they're, they're used to competing on, on price and uh, I think there's just going to be more of that in the US.